What's happening guys? So in this video, uh, it's going to be something a little bit different, but I'm going to be talking about this um, situation with um, former Manchester United defender, um, Paul Parker. Who the fuck is this asshole? Trying to say that Mark Goldbridge is a problem. It's fans like him or whatever and everything like that. And some of you might be thinking, why do I care about this? I'm an Arsenal fan and, you know, Mark Goldbridge is Man United and this is about Man United. Well, it's because stuff like this, it's not, you know, it's not exclusive just to Man United. It, this this will be all over the place, and every fan base, pretty much. Like, um, you know, you had talks about taking shots at AFTV and, and, and all that stuff and, and Ray Parler former Arsenal legend taking shots at AFTV saying that they were the problem and everything like that so I just want to talk about it I just want to read in, into it before I, I give my own thoughts about it former Manchester United defender Paul Parker has slammed YouTuber Mark Goldbridge for attacking the Reds and claimed his support for the club is fake uh, so it's more like he's just calling him out saying that he's a fake fan Goldbridge has built a strong following on YouTube and social media through the United Stand channel where he reacts to Red's performances. As displays on the pitch worsen post Alex Ferguson, Goldbridge's popularity rose and has seen him become a personality away from the channel as he hosts his own podcast and has his own slot on TalkSport. However, not everyone, everyone is thought to be a fan of him. Gary Neville has previously refused to have him on Sky's overlap and other critics suggest Gorbidge's support of United is fake. Well, going by that logic then, why would anybody have anything to do with any Man City fans? Because, you know, how many of them are real? <laughs> the latest ex-pro to air his grievances with the internet, internet personality is Parker, who told bonus code bets who i don't like what mark goldbridge is doing it's a problem well, let me just stop there right so this has come from uh paul parker who you know a former center back of manchester united has won two league titles a uh, league cup and fa cup and a uh, community shield right this is, he's, he's won the the, the the domestic trophies basically <clears throat> for manchester united he's saying it's a problem of what goldbridge is doing well goldbridge He's a passionate Man United fan who cares about his club and he doesn't like what he's currently seeing at the moment. Like with any fan base. You know what I mean? Like with any fan base. And I'm I'm speaking of this because there's a lot of us on social media and there's a lot of people who actually get paid for doing it will talk about their football club of what's gone on on the pitch and, and, and this, that and the other. Right? These men are just hating. These men just don't like the fact that now fans can have more of an opinion than before. You know what I mean? See, back in their day, right? Back in their day, all the fans could do was turn up to games and shout. Then after that, you don't hear from them again, right? Now, fans have more of a say now. And it and it gets in to the players. Because let's, let's not beat around the bush. These players watch YouTube as well. Yeah. Let's carry on. Everyone has to make a living. But you have to be very thick skinned, very, very thick skinned to make money off the back of something you don't like. He has no relationship to Man Manchester United. He is a Nottingham Forest fan. Uh, now, no. you're making a claim that Mark Goldbridge is apparently a Nottingham Forest fan, right? But do you have any evidence for that? Because if not, then it's a false accusation. Mark Goldbridge, for how well known he is now, if he was indeed a Nottingham Forest fan, <clears throat> we'd be seeing old photos of him as a kid in Nottingham Forest shirts or whatever. I don't know if he was born in Nottingham. I don't know. You know what I mean? But to just go out and accuse him of being a Nottingham Forest fan, and this is coming from a, a, a former footballer than themselves, and you're coming out with an accusation like that, just because you don't like something, I think it's it's pathetic to be honest with you. Get some help. It's an incredible skill to do that, actually, to make money on the back of something you don't like. He's attacking the club, the manager, and the owners of a football club that you don't even love. So, is it the problem that he's attacking them, or is it that you don't believe that he is an authentic fan? 
because again if if that's how if that's how it is because we know some of these pundits and ex-players don't like fans having a voice and some of them would say are you even really a fan by that logic you should not have any man city fans on any sky overlap and 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 you should have no no man city fans having any opinion because how do you know they're organic you know what I mean, where were you hearing Man City fans in, in force like that that were organic? By that logic. You know what I mean? Because you've got City fans that I've seen City fans on Sky Sports and Sky Overlap and all that, all this stuff. Right? So call them out as well then. You know what I mean? Well, let, let's see some ex City players turn around and say, yeah, he's not a fan, she's not a fan. You know what I mean? These men aren't organic. You know what I mean? <laughs> He has no inner feeling with the club and it's a scary but incredible feeling to have to be that invested in a club you don't support. Again, making more claims. But that's also what Man United are about. It's a club with massive story and a story that everyone tries to tap into to be part of. Much like these money clubs like you know Chelsea and Man, and Man City. When I say money clubs, I mean clubs that benefited off the back of a lottery win. Let's 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 call a spade a spade. Yeah. A lot of people are making money because of Man United, but it's madness. One, they don't support Man United to be honest. Two, they don't even like football. But it's a club that everyone wants to talk about and somehow it's possible to make money from it despite not having a relationship to the club. So this guy is going in. This guy is going in. And uh, you know, he Goldbridge is the centre of this. A man's talking about these men don't like Man United, they don't even like football and this, that and the other. You know what I mean? Goldbridge has, heavily, has been heavily critical of the Glazers and some players, but after the late win over Brentford prior to the international break, he declared his backing for Eric Ten Hag. So let me just let me just read I'll I'll read some of the comments are long, but I'll read one anyway. Someone called Colin in the comments to this article is Paul Parker a lifetime United fan? And has he actually sat down and listened to the United stand? But a personal attack on Mark is uncalled for. Maybe Paul is getting bitter about his dwindling fame. <clears throat> Very few people under 40 remember him. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I know who it is. <laughs> What a shocking waste of web space. Judging by your previous articles, it shouldn't be a surprise to see, but to see an article dedicated to attacking a single individual is outspoken about the state of, the, of our club and the Glazers. You should be ashamed of yourself and you only do yourself and Manchester, Manchester Evening News a disservice to all the other hardworking journalists and writers. Honestly, you should be ashamed of this and men should take this check the article down of all the things going on at united right now you choose to write this you've had a shocker here right so i'm back um i had to do a delivery so that's why the video stopped so after reading that message that that comment sorry uh, the reply to that was i agree with your comments but this isn't actually an attack on one individual it's an attack on all fans who voice their opinions online if they managed to get rid of the United stand and mark, they would soon move on to other targets, which is true. Yeah. I mean, the guys picked out Goldbridge, but when it comes to this, they're talking about all the fans as well. You know what I mean? It's just that Goldbridge is a name where it's like, if somebody said name names, Goldbridge is the first one that comes to his mind. Someone said, read the article again. The attack is solely against Mark Goldbridge. It is, and then at the same time, Anybody who's like Goldbridge, it it applies to them too. You know what I mean? And like I said, it doesn't matter that whether Goldbridge is a United fan, whether he's an Arsenal fan, whether whatever, right? The point of the matter is of why I'm making this video, right? Is because I also give my opinion on the football club. Obviously, I'm nowhere. I'm I'm a nobody. I'm nowhere near the level of Mark or anything like that. But there's other Arsenal fans that are bigger than me that are, uh, are more out there than me, right? And for all I know, <laughs> for all I know, I could blow up like Mark Goldbridge did. 
I could blow up and then my name goes everywhere and then what I say about the football club ends up getting to the to the um to the local news that it might even get as far as Sky Sports News or whatever and then there'll be a football legend that will come out and say that basically similar things to what, to what they're saying in the Goldbridge about me you know what I mean and it's the end of the day these men don't like the fact that fans now can give their opinions and and scrutinise the players whenever they cock up and fans fans are the reason why these footballers are getting hefty amount of wages and everything like that anyway like without the fans the clubs crumble right so that, this is what these legends need to understand these ex-players and everything like that. This is what these men need to understand. I mean, back in their day, yeah, the fans, you were, they weren't hearing anything from the fans like that. Today, now you are. Right. Mark Goldbridge has always been a United fan and he's always backed Eric Ten Hag. Unnecessary story, peace at the wrong time for the club. And there's a reply to that. Um, somebody replied saying his name is Brent de Cesar. If I said that right, and he's a Forest fan, okay, he's been rumbled. Okay, so you, we, we, Mark Goldbridge isn't his real name, but like that, that, that the, the Mar, you know what I mean, Yorkshire gun ain't my real name. He had to change his name because he was in the police, as I remember. Oh, well, there you go then. If that's true, it's you who have been rumbled as an agenda driven repeater. And then somebody else with their own comment says, it's shocking this article is released when we've just had news of the 25% sale. Focus on what's important. And that's all for the comments of this article. But yeah, I mean, Goldbridge has his opinion, just like every other football fan. Every football fan wants to see their club do better than what they're doing right now. You know what I mean? Like, whatever's happening in the football club, fans want the best for all the clubs. So, Mark Goldbridge criticising the manager, criticising the players, criticising the owners, and... <laughs> and... But you see, these ex-players, some of them, and these pundits, just want to pussyfoot around and not get to the point. This is why the fans come in. You see, because when the, you when you've got these man that are just virtual signalling, right, and just pussyfooting around the point, this is where the fans come in and say, "No, this is what the deal is." How many, how many of these pundits and all these man have pointed out Arteta's goofiness? For example, they won't say it. They'll, they'll say it in nice ways. I'm not saying these man need to swear or anything like that, but. It's got you've got to get straight to the point and not pussyfoot around. You know what I mean? You're allowed to say a player's not good enough or a manager's not good enough for whatever. You're allowed to say that. You know what I mean? But we live in such a a, a, a pussy filled society where you know feelings and all that. But anyways, that's all for this video. Uh, like the video, share the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow all the socials. The links are down in the description below. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.